at the Wusa Neuroscience Institute, our mission is to understand how the brain gives rise to mental life and behavior in health and in disease, and to apply this growing knowledge for the benefit of society. We do this by bringing together a diverse community of extraordinary scholars and trainees from across disciplines, by building a hub of innovations here at the Stanford Neuroscience Building and in our community laboratories. Our community converges from across campus at Stanford Neuroscience Building, a physical manifestation of our role as the hub of neuroscience at Stanford. Through our grant and training programs, we're seeding collaborative research, activating our communities to explore bold and transformative ideas and technologies that advances our understanding of the brain in health and disease. Early on, we launched the, our Big Ideas in Neuroscience project. These projects connect scholars across disciplines to tackle together questions that none could solve alone. It was really the Brain Rejuvenation Project, initially this big idea proposal that showed us um, a way how to work together with faculty that we don't usually interact with and learn from their skills and, and benefit from their knowledge to make this really a bigger initiative and, and tackle questions of brain aging and degeneration from a much broader perspective. And it laid the groundwork for this amazing gift from the Knight family to start the Knight Initiative for Brain Resilience. The Knight Initiative aims to take a really broad look at how the brain becomes susceptible to aging, neurodegeneration, and diseases such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease. Moreover, we want to understand why some people are resilient. This fascinating concept that there are people out there to live up to 100 years of age and their cognition is perfectly fine. Key to the success of these initiatives has been their ability to engage extraordinary people from outside of the traditional neuroscience field, bringing new technologies, expertise, and perspectives to our understanding of the brain and mind. Being part of the Wusa Neuroscience Institute have dramatically advanced my research. It's so interdisciplinary. It allows me, who come from the chemistry background, to fully engage in, uh, with the neuroscience community and allow us to develop devices that can directly have a high impact on the neuroscience field. We're also dedicated to advancing new ideas and technologies through seed grants and applying our growing knowledge to real-world problems through our Neuroscience Translate Awards. Neuroscience Translate has been instrumental in creating a project from nothing for us. So when I came to Stanford, I was really looking into trying to find a diagnostic device that could capture vertigo episodes when patients were having them. And it was through the Neuroscience Translate Award that we were able to create this really collaborative team, multidisciplinary, and then have that startup funding to be able to start our first clinical trial and proof of concept for this to turn from a dream into an actual actual device that we're starting to run even further clinical trials on today. Neuroscience Translate has been really helpful for our project in particular, but what we didn't anticipate is how much it would connect us with the Wusai community. So we had, first of all, a wonderful mentor assigned to us who really supported our project, was a fantastic mentor, but also sponsor, and connected us with so many different people who showed interest in our project, accelerated our project, but then also spurred other projects. And so we've just been so thrilled at being included in this community and feeling like we're contributing to Stanford. The Institute has also recruited faculty scholars to Stanford who works across disciplines and have real potential to seed new collaborations. Uh, when I came to Stanford, I didn't know exactly what to expect. I knew we would have great students and great colleagues, but uh, it's greatly uh, gone beyond my expectations. I've established, uh, I would say, I'm counting between four and six collaborations uh, in the two years of being here. And these are uh, very deep collaborations with co-advising with other students and, and or weekly meetings. The types of things that I'm doing here, I would not have expected whatsoever when I started two years ago. And that's what makes this exciting. Our training programs are developing the next generation of diverse and creative neuroscientists to be collaborative, interdisciplinary, and socially conscious. 
The Wusai community actually let me feel like I'm part of a group of neuroscientists who are looking to branch out into more interdisciplinary um, experiments and approaches. I did my graduate studies in cell biology and biochemistry, so I came in very focused on the cellular mechanisms, on how cells in the brain interact, but seeing the breadth of the science of my cohort mates that ranged from systems neuroscience to engineering really helped inspire and expand the, the scope of my experiments. The Wusai Neuroscience Institute has always believed that together we can tackle questions that no individual scientists, laboratories, or disciplines could approach alone. We welcome you to join us for this continuing mission.